Ibada ya kuwepo na sintofahamu kusiana na maendeleo ya katuzi la isiolo hatimaye bunge la seneti limezuru kauti hii na ukagua miradi kadha ikiwemo bunge la kauti afisiku za kauti soko pamoja na uwaja wa michezo Kamati ya sabu za umma inaongozwa na seneta wa kauti ya Homa B Moses Kajuang imeelezea kutoridhishu wanotenda kazi wa serikali ya kauti ya isiolo Unfortunately when we arrived in Isiolo the governor was an osho. We have not received any explanation as to his whereabouts. The Senate has taken serious reservations about the absence of the governor. The Senate sitting in the county assembly chamber made a number of resolutions. The first resolution was a reprimand to the governor and the entire county executive for failing to respond to the issues raised by the Auditor General and for failing to appear before the Senate Committee. Number two, the Senate invoking its powers drawn from Article 125 of the Constitution and the Parliamentary Powers and Privileges Act has imposed a fine of 500,000 shillings on the Governor for Isiolo for failing to appear before the Senate, having been invited as a witness. And that money must be paid from his personal account and not from the revenue fund of Isiolo County. Number three, the Senate has also invoked its powers to summon or to compel the appearance of the governor before the Senate by means of summons. The date, place for the summons will be communicated in due course, but we will also be instructing the Inspector General of Police to make sure that the governor appears before the Senate, failure to which he will have to be arrested and uh, forcefully presented before the Senate. Now, all this was not necessary because we did not come on a witch hunt and we did not come to do local politics. We came to see what the money that Senator Dulo and the rest of us have been fighting for to come to the counties, what that money has done. We went to see the county headquarters a very grand project that has been on for the last uh, six or so years. Unfortunately, they could not even uh, allow us to go in. We went to the market. We found the market has been stuck for many years. We've gone to the stadium. We found the stadium is a white elephant. We have come to the dispensary here. We have found that it has become a slaughterhouse rather than a place for treatment of patients. We have gone to the mortuary. We have found that you have a mortuary where uh, even the cooling systems are not working. And they were blaming us for turning off electricity, saying that it was working before we came. This is not the promise and dream of devolution. The people of Isiolo are Kenyans. They deserve better. They deserve quality health care at the same level as the people of Kisi and the people of Nandi. The boys and girls of Isiolo deserve their talents to be nurtured the same way as the people of Homer Bay through provision of facilities like stadia. The women of Isiolo do not need to walk long distances to go to hospital. If we have built this, let us finish it, let us stock it, let us uh, have human resource in it so that our women and youth can get treatment. Uh, Senator Cherargei will say it, but he said something that I found very interesting, that in Isiolo, maisha ni ngumu kama uko hai, Na hata kama umekufa unapelekwa kwa ile mochari, maisha bado ni ngumu. Finally, we have declared Isiolo a crime scene because there's nothing that we have seen that seems to be working. Being a crime scene, we will uh, be calling the ESCC to come here, the Office of the Auditor General, the Directorate of Criminal Investigation, and uh, if uh, these organizations cannot make sure that uh, resources are properly utilized, uh, Senator Omtata has advised us that we could still push for either dissolution of this county government or push for suspension or stoppage of funds to Isiolo. Tumeshikwa na kiwewe kwa sababu zile pesa zote ambazo umetuma asijafanya kazi kulingana na mujibu wa sheria na katiba na heshima ya wananchi. Tumeenda pale tukatarajia governor atakuja aeleze jinsi ambavyo ametumia pesa ambazo tunatuma aje 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 kuja ameingia mitini. Juzi wiki mbili iliyopita alikuwa katika bunge la seneti akisema county ziongezewe pesa. 
wakati governor na ma governors wanataka pesa wanakuwa wanyenyekevu wanakuwa watu roho safi lakini ikifika wakati ya kukuja kusema pesa zimefanya nini wanatoroka kwa sababu ameshikwa na ile kitu inaitwa roho mtakakitu mimi nataka niambie watu wa isiolo ya kwamba sisi kama bunge la seneti tukiongozwa na mwenyekiti wetu sisi tutasimama kidete kuhakikisha zile senti zote ambazo zinaletwa mashinani zinafanya kazi ya mwisho kwa sababu nimetembea hapa isiolo hakuna kitu inafanya kazi sasa unahangaika ukiwa hai tumeenda pale mochari hakuna hata amani huko sasa unahangaika ukiwa hai ukiwa mautini unahangaika kwa sababu tumeenda huko kwa mochari hata wale wa walisha kwa sababu kila nafsi itaonja mauti pia hawana amani huko kwa sababu mochari haifanyi kazi sasa tunashangaa hii ni kaunti gani na nataka niungane na ndugu amesema ya kwamba ikiwa na tume kule eh, chama namesema ikiwa governor hata kuja kuelezea sisi kama bunge la seneti tuko na vi, eh, power ya kwanza ku demand suspension ya county government na county executive ya hapa isiolo county government ama tusimamishe zile hela kwa sababu kama hizo hela zinakuja inaingia kwa mfuko ya mtu na wananchi wa isiolo hawana kazi hawana dawa hawana bazari hawana barabara hawana maji then nikinaye sana itakuwa na maana kama sisi bunge la seneti tu, tusukume pesa mashina mheshimiwa guyo anamjua ningependa kumtumia barua pepe governor have mercy on your people this cannot be your best i know you are a nairobi guy i know you've gotten this job look at how beautiful this place is but it's destitute we come to oversight you you run away you go with your mcs you are saying the senate doesn't have any powers to come and oversight you if you are not careful you are going home in the next six months watch what we are saying ninawaambia wananchi wa isiolo lazima mujitolee lazima mujitumikie muhakikishe mumelipa haki yenu lakini mambo ya kuambiwa ya kwamba fatuma anataka governor ndio anavaa oversight 2027 iko mbali na uwanja ndio hii sisi wote tunajua kama nyinyi mtaniambia niende nyumbani nitaenda nyumbani lakini si mwana siasa mwenzangu ananiambia niende nyumbani so tutakutana na wao uwanjani wale ambaye wanapiga siasa muambie hawa tuongojie siasa 2027 miaka tatu ni nyingi sana what is your people want is service delivery mmetupigia kura lazima mufanyiwe kazi Muzidanganywe kila siku siolo ni siasa tu. E, kila wakati siasa hapa, siasa pale, siasa sijui nini, makabila sijui wanapigana. Mwambie ni county government. Leteni pesa yetu. Umetumikia umetumia kwa njia gani? Assembly mnauliza hawa, mume summon chief officers wangapi? Hawa chief officers wanaambiwa wanipige vita juzi wamepelekwa Mombasa hata mmoja yao hawajui bajeti yao inatumika namna gani? Budget yao inachukuliwa below the belt ile tunasema below the belt hawajui budget yao una unaangalia na unafurahia tu hii milima nini iko sawa lakini ukiingia ndani ni kama mtu mwenye amenona na amenona kwa ajili ya minyoo kwa tumbo so kuna shida nyingi hapa na mimi langu ni kwamba sheria ndio msema yote na wewe gavana mbele ya sheria ni kama mende mbele ya mbele ya trailer hana hana haki, hana sauti mbele ya sheria asipoti sheria hana nguvu akitii sheria ana nguvu so sisi tutatumia sheria na mambo ambayo tumeona hapa hiyo miradi kidogo tumeona ni karibu shilingi bilioni tatu zimeharibiwa na hiyo kwa nchi kama hii ambayo watu wana, wanaangaika na maisha na maisha yamekuwa magumu na hizo pesa mkisikia tumezojima euro bond mnalipa maloni ya euro bond ndio hii pesa inaharibiwa hapa hii. So hatuwezi kuacha muumie mnalipa loni kubwa ya ngambo na alafu wenye wanapatua nafasi ya kuwasaidia wanaharibu hizo pesa. Tunajua kwamba watu wa hapa wengi wamejenga magorofa Nairobi. Na tukifanya audit hata wafanya audit hapa peke yake. Tutafanya audit tufuate hiyo pesa kama kama iko Nairobi haitoe. Mimi langu ni moja ukimeza mali ya wananchi sasa ile nyororo inakufikia utatema hiyo mali na ulimi na meno yote itatoka. Hatutaki kucheza na watu, hatutaki kuchaka kwa sababu umaskini unatuua. 
Kenya hii hakuna sababu ya kuwa kuitwa third world. Tunaitwa third world kwa ajili ya viongozi wabaya. Tunaitwa third world kwa sababu watu wamekeuka sheria. Na sasa sisi wakati umefika ya kwamba lazima tufanye kazi yetu na huyu mwenye kiburi tutamfua na sabuni ya omo tutamkausha kwa jua tutampika pasi na tutaweka kwenye box na tuweke marashi ndani asante